I'm coming out here. I'm going to show you how I feed my horses. And I'm going to tell you what it costs to feed my horses per month, only for food though. I feed my horses for $100 a month each. That's an average cost just for the food. That does not include the cost of trimming their feet, getting their teeth filed or floated as it's called, or worming medicine or anything else, shots, all that is extra. Just food is approximately $100 a month to feed a horse. But all those other things are needed, so you, can, you have to count those into the cost to see if you can afford a horse. I'm gonna show you my ducks behind me. They're so cute. They hear, they see me come outside, they go, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> the three things I feed my horses, which is a horse, a mule, and a donkey, equine, is um, crimped oats, alfalfa cubes, and lots and lots of good quality grass hay. My goal is a low sugar diet for my horses. I just think they have better health and they also have better behavior. So I just try to feed them whole foods without having the bagged grains and pellets and different stuff you can buy that have a lot of sugar in them. I try to stay away from that. And um, I never have any problems with my horses, never any illness, or they're just always the same, steady, 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 which is so awesome when you're keeping horses. Because if you have horses, you know vet, vet bills can be very expensive if you get them. Okay, so what I start with, a few hours before I feed is to soak these alfalfa cubes and this is what they look like dry and the reason they're great is it's easy to go to the store they come in a bag so it's easy to bring them home in the bag this kind of hay here this real hay is a hard and a pain in the neck to go get so this is a convenient way to feed hay good quality hay but the thing is you have to make sure you wet them because it takes so much saliva to chew that up and I've actually seen a horse choke on these before so I personally wet them. And not only that, once they get in their stomach, they just absorb so much moisture. I don't want to dehydrate my mule, my donkey, or my pony. So I soak them and they, they absorb a surprising amount of water. For Thunder, well, I want to give him a little extra. So this is a cup of rice bran, stabilized rice bran. It's high in fat without putting oil in his food. So I kind of just mix that in there, get it all wet. Okay, so I put the little scoop of minerals in there, which is a lot of salt, has a little clay, it's very good for them. Crimped oats. This is, I think, a one pound coffee can. So I give them one of those. And again, it's moist in there, so I'm gonna mix this up. And that's what I have to do. I just stand here and mix all this up so it's not dusty and it gets wet. So, you know, that just takes me a second to do, not very long, and I do this every time I feed them. So now what I'm going to do is I come in here and I have to separate Thunder because believe it or not, the Hefflinger <laughs> eats the fastest. And so if I don't do this, he will eat his and then come after everybody else's. So I open this. He already knows the routine, which is so adorable. Back up, Charlie. You're not going in there. Back up. Okay, come on, Thunder. Get in. You're not going in there. Come on. Step in there. Get the big booty through the door. Okay, so now I'm going to dump Thunders in here for him, which he's very anxious to get back, Thunder. And I use a rubber bucket because Thunder loves to kick his bucket, and I want to make sure it doesn't destroy the bucket or hurt the pony. Okay, so this is Charlie, and I just get it in there. And then if it's not mixed up, I'll kind of mix it up for him because I love him and I spoil him, so I mix it up. And then I get a handful out for doodles because... He doesn't get much because he's little and you don't want him to be too fat. And then I just slide this under here to my big Charlie baby. And then he eats that. Last but not least is our little doodles. And if there's anything in his bucket, I just empty it. Like sometimes a little sand or a leaf gets in there. And then I dump his in. And he doesn't get much, and some people might be a bleeding heart and overfeed their donkey, but because they give you such a sweet, precious look, like, give me more. But it's not healthy for him at all to be too fat for a mule or a donkey. It's very important to feed the proper amount, and you have to determine what they all need and measure and feed that consistently every day 
for your animals to be healthy. You don't want them to gain fast. You don't want them to lose fast. You want to keep them a nice, steady, healthy weight. And then just do little adjustments if need be. If you're riding a lot or it's winter and cold, you might have to adjust a little more feed. If it's the sweltering hot days of summer and everybody's just standing under a shade tree, you can decrease the food a little bit. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is get a bale of hay in my garden cart here so I can wheel it out there. I just put a whole bale out at a time. Bales of hay are very heavy. Ooh, so what I do is I get it in the cart. It doesn't wanna go. It's like, it's a little bit big. Then I cut the strings off over here. I always, always get the strings and put them in the garbage. I can't stand hay strings laying around making the place look sloppy. All right, so this is kind of going to fall. I probably should have waited until I got in the pasture to pop it. But it's all right. We'll manage. And then I dump, dump. So I put out a whole bale of hay at once, and then they'll be eating this all night, and then by tomorrow it'll all be gone. And I am a big believer in lots of hay. Just high-quality grass hay. It's super healthy for them. It's not that expensive, and it just is really good for them in every way. I'm gonna tell you what I love to give my horses. I'm all natural in the way I like to care for my animals. I like to feed them whole food, and I like to use chemical-free supplements if I give them anything. Okay, so I deworm them with this diatomaceous earth. I do the whole farm. All my animals look perfect and healthy and happy without all those chemicals. So that's what I use to deworm them. This is a mineral. This is Redmond Daily Gold. This is awesome. I've always given my horses minerals, loose minerals, because it makes them have great feet. And without a good hoof, a good foot on your horse, you don't have a very good horse. So I'm a farrier, so I'm very picky about their feet. So I've always given minerals. And this is an awesome mineral. What I like about the Daily Gold is it has a little bit of clay in here. And it's called healing clay. And the reason I like this especially is for my mule. So this works awesome and just quiets him right down. I think it soothes his belly. And it's all natural. And if you'd like to try either one of these on your farm or for your animals, you can find the link in the description below so you can try them. How do you feed your horses? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below.